Hello everyone, I'm Mason Sullenberger, Applications Engineer with Akuma, and today we are going to be going over our Program Editor function on our OSP control. So inside your Program Editor, MD1 is going to be your parent directory, where your, all your G-code programs are going to be stored. If we select Input to open up our program, we can now begin editing our G-code. So all of your function keys down on the bottom are going to be your options on how to edit your code. Copy, cut, paste, pretty similar to your PC at home. If you want to select one line of code, press copy. Input, you can now move that code down in the program and paste it where you would like it. If you're wanting to remove a portion or move it to a different location, F2 for cut, input again, move it to where you want, and paste. Or you can just cut, select a bunch of code, input, and now it is removed from your program. Another handy feature for our program editor would be F7, another file. Allows you to look at two separate G-code programs side by side. If you're wanting to take a toolpath from one program and put it in another, you can select the code you need with copy, scroll down, select the code you want, input, move over to your other program, and paste that toolpath. Once you are done pasting your toolpath, quit out of the other file and you are back to one program. Our find replace feature is going to let you look for a certain code in the program if it is there multiple times. You can input the code you're looking for and if you're wanting to change it for another code, you can find that code and replace or just find and get to where you want in the program. Our sequence number arrange function is going to allow you to insert end lines in your program without having to manually type end line after end line. So if we start at sequence number one and we have a rate of 10, wherever our cursor is in the program, once we hit OK, it is going to put end lines on each line of code throughout the program. Um, reason being, if you're wanting to find easier places to jump to in your program, it will help you organize a better. A handy feature on multiple turret lathes is going to be our AB divide, or on this machine, the LT2000 with the C turret, ABC divide. Akuma code is all one program file. The machine is looking for a G1314 or 313 to know which code goes for which turret. This allows you to look at the code side by side, make sure all your sync codes are where they need to be, and then when you are done, you can go back to combine, put it in one file, and save your cutting program. Our add feature, if you had a sub-program or another program you're wanting to combine, will allow you to select another program and have it input into your current cutting program to combine it into one file. When you are done editing your program, you decide everything is good to go, you can use F8 to quit and stop or you can use F8 to select and quit, which is going to put your edited program now in your operation buffer ready to run. On our operation screen, we also have a quick edit button, which is going to allow you to edit the code on your operation screen. When you're running your program, if you run into an error or an alarm, when you press quick edit, it is going to take you directly to that line of code in which the error occurred. In this case, we have an alarm for data word F, I forgot to put a feed rate on our first G1 line. Cancel that program, reselect and quit to load our edited program. And now we have good code and we are ready to cut apart. Akuma Lays have four main different types of programs. You have .min files for your main G code, you have subprograms, you have library files, and you have schedule files. So our .min's regular G code, program select, select your program and that's going to be your main cutting program. Subprograms are going to be able to be called from your .min. When it's finished running, it will return to your .min file. Now if we wanted to run a schedule program, press the same program select, go to our schedule file tab and select your schedule file. Our schedule file is going to work by calling .min programs from inside of it. It is going to manage in what order and how many times your .min runs. After your .min, you can also designate sub-programs to run from it. 
An additional capability of the OSP would be the ability to run library files, which can be set to a GRM code and permanently loaded in your buffer for use at any time. The OSP program editor has many capabilities, all to make your life easier.